Hurricanes are effective life here on the Gulf Coast. Sooner or later, our number's gonna be up, another storm will threaten our area. It's key to be prepared, be educated about what a storm can do, how to prepare for a storm, knowing what to do if you have to evacuate, and of course, weathering the storm itself and picking up the pieces afterwards. Being educated like this conference right here will get you ready for such an event. Okay, we're here. Let's take a walk inside the conference and see how everything is going so far. Surface temperatures elevated, the jet stream, the Bermuda Island changing the over the from cross. Yeah, to the we'll get a little bit of Good to see you today. Fantastic. What we have here. Uh, between uh, franchise and corporate school. And for all your important documents, it's a dollar document bag, waterproof. Very key to have this for birth certificates, insurance papers, what have you. Have it in this. A good thing to pick up one of those. And what you're seeing here, of course, is the mock version of rainfall, like a river, the floodplain along, along a river. And you can explain what you're doing. Yeah, so that's what it is, is that this will demonstrate rain coming down. And as you see on the bottom, the parking lot is getting flooded first. So that will end up being the water coming out and end up flooding those homes on the bottom. Anytime during the presentation, you have any questions, please ask. I'm going to be walking, uh, and everybody here. So this conference gives us the capability now to bring all of our traditional first responders together under one roof, one umbrella of the conference. Uh, to come together to learn how to prepare for, uh, respond to, recover from, and mitigate from a variety of disasters. This year's keynote speaker is Dr. Lisa Bucci, a meteorologist with the National Hurricane Center in Miami, Florida. Dr. Bucci says this year meteorologists have some new forecasting products to help the public during a storm. This year what you can expect from the Hurricane Center are uh, more Spanish uh, translated text, so we're taking our text, we're putting them through uh, a machine learning and they're, they're coming out in, in Spanish language form so that we can reach a bigger audience and let them know some of the hazards that are coming their way. Uh, you can also expect from the Hurricane Center this year uh, more information about the structure uh, at days four and five of the wind field, the, the tropical storm forest winds. Um, and experimentally you can expect from us a, a new cone graphic. Um, so not only showing the watches and warnings that are uh, on the coastline, but some of those watches and warnings that are inland that could be affecting your area. Even with improved forecast products, individual readiness is important. Have a plan. Jenna Banda, Deputy Emergency Management Coordinator for Victoria, says complacency is always an issue. The two storms are alike, and complacency is our biggest threat. Uh, so like you mentioned, is if we have an individual who, or someone who says that, oh, well, my house didn't have any effects during Hurricane Harvey, or nothing happened during Hurricane Ike, or name another storm in the past, uh, we don't want them to make that correlation and think that one storm will do the same as the others. After hearing from our experts, one message stands out clearly. Preparation is key. Don't wait for a storm to approach. Act now to ensure your safety. Know the evacuation routes and have a plan in place. Being prepared ahead of the storm significantly increases your chances of staying safe when a disaster strikes. Trey Mining, KVU-TV, 25 News Now.